Hello, hello, crafty friends. I'm here with another project share. This is for my um the craft fair that I have coming up. More likely you won't see this till afterwards, but you know, it's an idea for you. I'll show you some of the paper that I use, some of the products, and then I'll get right into it. So I did use this Wicked um merchant, or maybe it's what is this? Malvador, I'm guessing. Don't know, but it's this paper right here. My I got this from a um, garage sale. It was a full pack for like $3. Maybe last summer. Not sure. But I did use this paper pad. I used this. Um, this uh, this I know I got from Hobby Lobby. This Baby Boy um, from Authentique. Cuddle Boy paper collection. I'm trying to use this up. And I used this right here. Which is a school um, paper pad. Let's see. I, had, I know I had this for a minute. American Crafts. <coughs> uh, I thought it was American. Well, yeah, American Crafts, but we are memory keepers. And it's this paper pad here. And I got this from um, AC Moore when I used to, um, when I was back in Florida. So that was at least two years ago because we've been here in Ohio for two years. Um, I, might, I know I think I use these, um, these dies and some of these stamps. I'm not for sure. I know I use this right here. I remember that. But you'll see as I go through the, um, and I'm sorry, I'm just going to reach a, reach a, right across here <laughs> to show you this one. Because, you know, um, I'm going to show this in another video once I get it done. But, you know, I'm trying to um, demolish this paper pad from Port Spice. So I'm still working on it. So I just want to show you that I did get the base for it done. Because this is what I'm creating. But you'll get that in another video so I can keep it all together. But, I, but that is the same, pretty much, um, the concept that I'm using for my other one. So, anyway, here we go. <clears throat> Okay, so here, and these are, I got this tutorial from, um, was it Mixed It Up? No, it's, um, I can't think of her name, but I'll make sure I put it down in the um, comments below. I want to say Mixed It Up Crafts, but I, no, I think it's Poodles, um, Poodles Paper Crafting or something like that. I'll put a link to her channel in the, in the um, comments below. I apologize. I cannot think of uh, what her name is right now. But anyway, so this is the, um, the one. It's like a flip mini, um, flip album. So here it is. I got that It's a Boy tag, a little um, tuck spot there, and it flips up up here. I use another one of those tags and it made it into a belly band right there. And so this is um, the baby's first six months. So um, here, and what it is it? They flip down and a picture on the back. So they all that same concept, but you know, with the decor on the front. <clears throat> so I'm just going to flip through here because it's just, you know, baby's first six months. That's pretty much it. Get this last one. And then right here is another tuck spot. Let him sleep or when he awakes, he will move mountains. That's that. And I just got these rings right here to hold it together. That's the back. So that's that one. I did two Halloween ones. Um, this is the first one. Say Happy Halloween. I used that uh, stamp that I showed you on another video, if you've already seen it anyway. <laughs> uh, on here, <clears throat> this is just from the paper itself, but I did put this... Um, this die, this spider web die. So I did do that. Flip it up. Um, here go a boo from here that I did show you this. This right here is a stamp that I didn't show you and I just made it into a little booklet. Right there. Down here, uh, this is just a cut apart that I made into a little booklet. Also with a little tuck spot. And like I say, this is the same concept as the other ones. You just, you know, you got the three photos. Over here, got a little tuck spot. And I just love these spiders, so I just left this one as is. This right here was another stamp, and I used on my tags. <clears throat> Stamp some bulls in there. A little spider. Change it up a little bit. Um, this is a die that I used over here. That's one whole piece. Um, this right here was a, um, that I got in a swap last Halloween, so I you know, wanted to use that. Like I said, I like this paper, so I didn't do anything to it. And then this one right here is another tuck spot. And these Halloweens is some I just um, found online and I print them out and I did that black soot, you know, to make it more Halloween instead of just dark white. <clears throat> and this is the last one. I need to put a thing in there so they'll know. This is a picture right there. You can put a picture right there. And then this the back. Shadows of a thousand years, rise again, unseen voices whisper in the trees. Tonight is Halloween. So that was a stamp and then this bat stamp that I put on there. And 
That is the back of that one. Okay, so then this is the school one. It's just one of the color parts. This desk belongs to. And this right here is a book bag die. I think y'all seen this, I'm sure. So you lift it up and then I just put two little composition notebooks in there and I'll stamp place photo here. <laughs> Even though it's just something to do interactive and it is here with a um, magnet. So over here I did a clipboard, you place photo there. And this is just a tuck spot. I left this as it is. They can just put a full four by six or something there if they want to. A little tuck spot, you know how you used to take those dreaded tests. You gotta bubble in the stuff. <laughs> um, this right here, this ABC is a stamp that I had that I stamped on some of the paper and um, backed it on black, made it into a little tuck spot there. There's a class schedule that I um, cut in half, put up there for a little tuck spot. Left it as is. Another little tuck spot. And they all, like I say, the same. Right there. Full picture. And it just says, school is cool. <laughs> as no kids would ever say. And that's the back. And that's the front. And so this is the last Halloween one. I did stamp that Happy Halloween on here. I stamped this little skull, that R.I.P., and these bones. So, um, <clears throat> trying to see. Um, see, they got the little bones. Mm -hmm. And I think, is that the R.I.P. yet yeah, right there? So this is the steps that I used on that. Um, this is a boo. This must have been just a, like one of the cut apart little tuck space. I love these little bones. Oh, that's cute. I like this paper. It's so nice and vibrant. Fold it up. Just got a little thing. They can do some journaling. Journaling. Little tuck spot. Another one of those. Of course, this one's kind of brighter than that other one, I believe. So that's why I didn't scrunch it up. Then we have this little tuck spot. Do some little journaling right there. I'm liking the bones. Here's another one of those tags that I had told you I had got from Mama Swap last year, I believe. And this is just one of the little color parts that they want to make some notes on there. And then I also put it on the back so they can put a picture. If they so choose to. And then I got this little tuck spot. Master Craftsman Tombstone Headstone Mausoleum. That's what I'm thinking it says. Could be right, could be wrong. Right there. And then we have this this last little tuck spot right here. It's potion makers. I'm not even sure. Tincture, tinker, and portion supplies. Who knows? No, what that is. Or maybe I'm just not focusing enough. But I have no idea. Tincture. It's probably some easy word. Tune is gonna tick me off. But anyway, <laughs> that's what this is. This is what it is. Something and potion supplies. Whatever you want it to be. And then I got this little spectacular and this happy Halloween. Okay. Close that up. And that's the back. So that is my um, project share for this video. I made these four. And like I said, I did this one. But I'm going to um, finish it up and do it in another video. Along with other items that I'm making to demolish this particular paper pad. Alrighty. Thanks for watching and hope to see you in the next video.